Laicha Spada Manda Labado Shabadu Shekeya Roboko Sataria Babush Manda Libaba Kusataya Kila Madush Kala Madushaya Roboko Satayina Namako Sataya Roboko Sekelebeaya Robo Shabana Makutaya Robo Kosegelebeko Robo Kotaria Badushka Tongs of Fire God Bibio Saku Robo Kosaka Talaba Pusikaya Robo Kosekelebo Kosaya Robo Kosikaya Baba Mandorobo Koshaya In Jesus prophetic name Amen church practicing a cult, selling out the life of people to the occult. Yes. We were not mad. Hallelujah. Yes. Aren't you glad that we were not mad? That Thank God was confirming it all the time. God. Hallelujah. You, Praise God. the Lord Jesus. Thank Praise God we're not mad. Hallelujah. Word is Lord. Lord. Can you say, God, thank you for the revelation. And thank you for all the other men and women in the world that you're bringing into revelation. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. The church has been quiet. The church has been amputated. The church has been maimed because many of whom we rely on, they're eating out of the cup of the enemy, the cauldron of the enemy. They're raping our sons and molesting our daughters. So I hope you get ready to pray like a mad prophet because you know that attacks and counter attacks are going to come and we must be ready as God's children we're not retreating we're not surrender we're not lotion powder our pet the devil he must be exposed for who he is Satan is a liar killer and a stealer so God is exposing the work of darkness 
shout hallelujah in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Going to go back to those people who are eating and raping our children, not me. As yes. for me and our house, we are securely yes. separated yes. to serve the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have on my uh, on line tonight a very important personality all the way out of Brazil. Hallelujah. We have a Brazilian pastor, hallelujah, who wants to come online tonight. We and I have been chatting for a while and I told him I want to interview him on a, on a team that is entitled, Hallelujah, what are your insights about the end time? What do you have to say about the things of the end time? And he's here with us. Joan, are you there, please, sir? Hallelujah. And he speaks Portuguese. Are you there, sir? Hallelujah. Yeah, here. here. God bless you. I am here. I am so happy for you all there. I am calling the fire of God. The power of God. The fire of God. Aha. Hallelujah. Amen. So before we go into the, 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 the we, I'm going to do a brief into, um, uh, uh, exclusive interview with him. And then we're going right into apostolic on teetering. And I know that Brazil need a revival by fire because the doctrine of Satan is not just in one hemisphere, one region, one territory. It's a global thing. And so God is synergizing, networking the body of Christ to come together as one carpet ecclesia to demolish the stronghold of Satan, to depopulate him in his realms. Hallelujah. What God has allotted for us has been encroached upon by the enemy. So God is yeah. empowering you and I to take it back by fire. If you believe that you're one of the ones that will take it back, can you show take it back by fire? In take the it name back of by Jesus fire. Christ. Hallelujah. Take it back by so before fire. Yes, to a global platform, I want to welcome you. Merry Christmas and a productive 2024 when it comes. I'm giving you advanced best wishes. And I know that tonight your atmosphere and realm is going to recalibrate because God is in a destiny altering, a hallelujah mode. God is here to send the enemy packing out of your destiny. And those of you that are marked for death, those of you that are marked for curse, those of you that you are marked for tragedy. Those are you that the, 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 the dark cult is seeking to eat your flesh. God is removing the mark. He's taking away your spiritual signatures in the realm of the spirit. They will not be able to find you. They will not be able to find you. You will be eaten. He that dwells in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. I'm sure you hear the woman of God stated that God is going to smite a lot of them art attack on the pulpit art attack on the altar those that are raping, killing, stealing they will experience tremendous judgment but we are not of those that want to experience those wicked, hallelujah do those wicked things in the sight of God so that God will judge us so we want our garment to be clean we want to maintain a Good report before the Lord. Hallelujah. So that it will be well with our soul. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As always, when I come on, I like to decrease so that your day of our day will be increasing. Tonight, I'm going to employ the armor of God. Uh -huh. I'm going to employ the armor of God before we go into the interview and then the teaching tonight. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you tonight as I pray for myself that God will create in us the Elohim a, 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 a new heart he will create in us a new heart, a clean heart, a upright heart and he will renew a right spirit in us in the name of Yeshua so we go to the court and pray and, and I want you to join me in faith, dear father we earnestly approach Abba, we ask you to forgive us of our sins oh God and our family 
the soul of one right now. We put on the old armor of God, inclusive of the helmet of salvation. Yeshua, Yeshua, Kadosh, the instrument of God, the, the garment of vengeance, the garment of praise, the garment of light, the cloak of zeal, the breastplate of righteousness, the girdle of truth, the sandal of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the rod of strength, the shield of salvation, the armor of light, the god of righteousness on our lines, the god of faith around our reins, our kidneys and our mind, the large shield and armor of the truth, the glittering spear of Elohim, the large shield of favor, the mighty armor of your word, the arrow of the Lord deliverance, the battle arms, the sword of the Ruach Kodesh, which is the word of Elohim. We war against ever forces. In the name of Jesus, as we put on the armor of light tonight, our complete dependency is upon the Ruach Kodesh, the Holy Spirit. Now Ruach, we ask that you breathe into this service tonight. Breathe into our heart. Breathe into our thought, breathe into our mind, move in us Amen. in a most holy and profound way. Shout hallelujah on this line. The name of Jesus Christ. Mark Hallelujah. Breathe upon us with wisdom and knowledge, with clarity. Breathe upon our individuality. Let no man leave this platform and remain the same. Robo Koshata Makasata. We'll pick up our frequency and our REM tonight, our vibration in our planet and constellation from our past, present, and future into infinity and across. Hallelujah. Every hallelujah realms and dimension. We ask, Holy Spirit, that the wickedness of the occult will not see us. And those that are on this line that are suffering from the occult, harassed by the occult, occult is drinking their blood occult want to eat their flesh tonight God right now I said right now on this line we ask that you will mash and bash the occult you will kill them you will scatter them you will mash up their plans you will do break up they will not be able to find your children in this season in the name of Jesus there will be a great deliverance in the name of Jesus there will be deliverance by fire deliverance by fire deliverance by fire in the name of Jesus tonight our archie will attack hallelujah the realms of God as I was having a dream this morning, I had a dream, and the dream was everywhere around me was utter darkness. Everywhere around me was utter darkness, but in my own there was light, and I could hear the people outside saying, how oh, come she has light, and we are in darkness, and because of that I was jubilating this morning. And I was saying, God, evil soul, send the light. Can somebody open their mouth and say, oh God, send the light. Light. Send the light in my enemy Send the light in my atmosphere. Send the light, the light. The people the light. Illegal things that we're doing. We're mocking. We're mocking ourselves. We're not mocking God. For the Bible said, there is nothing that is hidden that shall not be revealed. Did your Bible say that? So if God says, Amen. That is Amen. hidden. Amen. That shall not be revealed. Saints of God, Amen. it's only a matter of time before Amen. God starts to reveal them. It doesn't matter how long they are entrenched in our home, 
entrenched in our land. It's only a matter of time, saints of God, that God is going to reveal the thief, yes, the murderer. Lord, the I heard another Jesus. testimony of it. Oh, they put some old people on the ground and they rape them anally until the anus gush out like intestine. No, do you think God is going to sit down and let these Bastard, get away free. Rakashatamakasata. God is bringing back judgment in the earth. And it starts with the church of the living God. So those that are under attack, they must go and say, I'm under attack so you can get help. You don't use your attack and infiltrate the whole church. And then you start to eat people in the church and sell them out to the different organizations. God says, I am going to judge. I have been talking about this a long time, and I am so glad that God is fighting, finding prophets and pastors that are already dead. They don't care if they want to come and kill them, because they are already dead, and they know that they're going to be with the Lord if you try nothing. So you can't use fear and trick to scare these prophets that God is rising up. Hello, somebody. Shout hallelujah. You can't use death and scared and not to talk. Hallelujah. They will be blowing the trumpet in Zion, whether you like it or not. God bless you. Welcome. At this time, we're going into our interview. It's a very dynamic man all the way there in Brazil. Hallelujah. And such a passion for the fire of God. I have talked to him at Lent. Hallelujah. Brother Johan, can you come and greet the platform and tell us a little bit about yourself. Hallelujah. I want to introduce that this man of God has a passion for the things of God. End time revivalist. Hallelujah. So I, I, I am pleased to introduce him. Hallelujah. We're not going to overlook the, 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 the background, the, the, the fact that there's so much deception in the end time. The characteristics of those that we're looking for is their food, not even their shout. The characteristic that Jesus says that we are to look for is in it is embedded in their fruits, not their show, not their verbal articulation, not their oratorical finesse, not how much they speak in tongues. Because we have seen all of these things parading in the church, and these people are still speaking in tongues and sucking blood. So we're looking for fruits. Can somebody say amen in the name of Jesus? Amen. 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 So our brother from 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 um, Brazil, uh, brother Joan, can you come and and, and and introduce to us your church and um, your belief in Jesus Christ before we go into uh, the, the 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 interview tonight? And then I'm going to be asking you a few questions um, about the end time. It's a very serious topic, and I want you to go deep. We're not going to use any form of discretion as it relates to expounding on the word of the end time. Okay, sir. So you're welcome. Can we welcome Brother Johan tonight, please? In the name of Jesus. Welcome. We welcome you, sir. We welcome Are you there, sir? Are you there? Hello. Yes. Yes. So can can you please introduce yourself and provide a brief overview of your background and experience with Yeshua Amashiach? And also with the topic of the end time deception, please, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, why not Jesus name? Hallelujah. Uh, the end time deception are false, are false doctrines created by Satan to seduce a civil God people because if yes. people believe in false doctrine, they will lose their salvation on the day of Jesus' return because there are the last days of the church on the earth. In this earth, so everything he can do to deceive, he will do so that people are not saved. Amen. Yes. I'm using Bixby Text Call to convert your voice to text and respond to you. So what God is saying is that... Please stay on the call. Got to stay on the call. 
Uh, we have just a little interference from Brazil there. Yes, so remember Jesus gave us the exclusive, and he gave us a deep insight as to what will you know, be more operational in the end time. In St. Matthew 24, Jesus admonishes us that in the last days, many false prophets and false Christs will arise, deceiving many. So those that are coming in with false doctrine and deception in the end time, they are part of the occultic organization of the Antichrist. They are set in motion to lead God's children astray. So the next question is, what sparks your interest in studying and understanding the concept of the end time deception, sir? Um, the populate hell and populate the kingdom of heaven. Uh, speak the truth of the gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ, because he's coming back. We all need to strongly believe in his word. That is, that is what he says. Not a false doctrine. Believe in, believe in, believe in God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Before now, have you conducted any previous research or investigation on this topic? If so, could you briefly summarize your finding, you know, on, on, on any form of discovery that you have made on the end time deception that is creeping in the church, please? Can you repeat to me? Yes. Have you conducted any previous research or investigation on the topic of the end time on your own? If so, could you briefly summarize your finding, what you have found on your own as it relates to the end time and the, yeah, the deception that are creeping in the church? My friend, uh, I watched videos on YouTube that discuss this talk. So I discovered a serious series of factors that address the end time deception. And after I read, 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 read um, the Bible in the internet and I study. Okay, so one of the main things I want to say is Jesus tell us to study, to show ourselves approved because there's so much false religion and religious dogmas that if we are not careful, even today I was watching an interview with a pastor and a bishop introducing a man yes. as the first gentleman, not first lady now, first gentleman. Uh, Jesus gave us so much insights on the, the end time era. And this is a battle. I want to say this loud and clear. The battle is not about your finance, neither is the battle about your health. The battle is about your eternity. Can somebody say, I totally understand that the battle is about your eternity. The battle is get is about getting you so deceived, lying deception, getting you so deceived that you will you will walk away from the light. You will engage the realm of darkness because there's two active forces in the earth. Number one, light. Number two, light and darkness always are at war. Um, light and darkness, truth and evil, good and evil, truth and lie, light and darkness, they are always having battles because each one wants to overthrow one, but God in his infinite mercy, in Titus 1 verse 2, God cannot lie in hope of eternal life, which God who cannot lie has promised us ages and ages ago saints, men and women have died believing this truth that this God is able to fulfill the promises and if we live in conjunction our coition or in obedience to his will, we will end up being, hallelujah, candidate of eternal life. There's no other way. Shout hallelujah in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The number, hallelujah. The number three question hallelujah. I would like to ask, the number four question I should say, we're wrapping up quickly. How would you define end time deception in your opinion? What are the key characteristics or element that defines the end time, please? 
the definition, um, the definition of end time deception is a very great devil trying to deceive and prepare all forms of threat to deceive the people so that they fall into sin and lose their salvation because he is already condemned to hell. So try to take as many people as he, as he can to hell. The main feature philosophy is to introduce people, the Jews and the Chinese, fall through the modern uh, social environment of friends, rivalry, conversation, even within the church itself. If they in the false group and false revelations. Awesome. Hallelujah. That's that's very deep. That's very deep. That's very, very deep. In accordance to the word of God, those that stand must take heed to their ways, lest they fall. There's a lot of philosophers and a lot of religious deans and theologians who also is working in coercion with the enemy to seduce, to enchant, to produce, and to invoke upon us false doctrine. In a social environment, we need to be very aware of the time. Can't you see the time that we're in? Never in the history of Christianity we see so much disgrace and so much misalliance and so many people going astray. God is saying something to us. Hallelujah. I'm going down in my questionnaire. Hallelujah. According to your research or understanding, what are the most common forms of deceptions that are expected to occur during the end time? Um, as you research in your own country in Brazil, hallelujah, and you've seen what's happening around the different parts of the world. What are your you know, common understanding of these things that is happening and occurring in the end time? And oh, can the church, the church, and I don't want to just address this to one church body, evangelical, or the Presbyterian, is everyone that names the name of Jesus Christ. We are to be aware of these uh, false doctrines and ideologies that, you know, come from the kingdom of darkness, sir. Can you, can you elaborate on that, please? Uh, authorities who approve ideologies and lifestyles that go against the word of God. Amen. Even church that claim to be evangelical can want a proof of this. Like quite a church that allow practice, practice um, that God is approved of. God does not accept. So I can say what he's saying. Jesus is very close to a church. Jesus will come back. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah for our sober pastor there calling out of Brazil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, the next question is, are there any specific biblical prophecy or references that, you know, mention the end time deception? If so, can you elaborate on them? Yeah. And Jesus answering said, said unto them, Be aware that any man deceive you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ. And we will deceive many. Matthew 24, 4 and 5. Identifying deceptive practices. How do you encourage um, believers across the world who is listening to your voice now? How can they identify when a deception in, is in place? Um, people, people can identify this with content, vigilance, and prayer. This way God will reveal that they are being deceived. And the truth will prevail. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to scroll down for the sake of time. Can you provide 
can you provide some example of historical or contemporary instance where end-time deception has been identified? What are the key indicators of deception in those cases? Yes, yes, uh, yes. Can can you can you give us examples? Because you know, throughout the history, you have persons who raise up a religious church. For example, we had a mass murder in couple, you know, in in couple years ago, where pa- people were told to drink a particular thing because they were going to be transported to heaven, and it was all a deception, and many people lose their lives as a result of that. So, can you provide some example that you know about of any historical or yeah contemporary instances where end time deception has been identified? Uh, sometimes we can stay so tight with brothers and sisters inside of the church um, because they are doing something bad sometimes. But I, but we have, but we don't have to look them. We have to see. We have to watch God. We have to pray and pray with vigilance. Vigilance um, for the God too, uh, because He will reveal to us, Hallelujah, the truth. Do you do you recognize that everything that Jesus has told us as 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 indeed been coming to pass? So we have things like you know like project like Blue Beam, which is a conspiracy that argued the New World Order, which used advanced hologram technology to create false warning of you know different kind of things and worldwide religions awakening to what is is guaranteed as a global submission of the masses. And so the world's population accept their turn and look for the government that Jesus has promised us by crying to the Father to ensure that our eternity is guaranteed. Because many people think that our eternity, saints of God, is going to be when we go to heaven. It's not going to be when we go to heaven. You're going to go to heaven and stay there until the earth is purified by fire and then everyone that has been saved and remission and commission will come right back into the earth realm to live with Yahushua on the earth. Are you there, child of God? Our eternity is not going to spend in heaven. Hallelujah. We are going to come back into the earth civilization and live with him here. Am I talking to someone who understands the scripture? In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I have, I have, tri- I have four more questions for you, Pastor. Number one, I understand that psychologically and you know, um, um, psychologically, a lot of people are, are are being psychologically and emotionally driven. Some people are hurt seriously because of the deception of the church. Because when we were growing up, the church is the only place that we will deem as a sanctity or a somewhere where we can have as a refuge. But with what's going on now in the churches in the last days, there's a lot of psychological, social impact on, on, on lives of individuals. Or do you, um, or do, or can you encourage us to live above those impacts that individuals feel? Both psychologically and emotionally, with what's going on in the church today, please, sir. You there? Um, yes, sir. Go ahead. Yes, yes, I'm here. Project like Blue Beam, which uh, experience that argues that the new water, new world water, we use advanced hologram technology to create false, false words of a lying invention or a worldwide religious awakening in order to guarantee the submission of the mass. And the world population will accept a new government and a new religion that can guarantee the domination of human civilization through manipulation, uh, explaining the errors of each religion and God unity in one God, having the communication by telepathy, telepathy, 
thing. Um, people believing that is, God is speaking to them. They deny Christianity. So people prepare it to call for a new world water. Um, and about, in fact, individuals psychologically or emotionally um, through electronic and supernatural forces with advanced technology imposing something that is not true. This information being projected into individual minds for extremely low frequency radio waves. Um, the exception is against biblical principles that it, it comes to break Christian thinking, Christian logic. It goes against trust when I stop believing in the true return of Jesus that break the stability, the firmness, firmness of the word of God. That is very deep. Praise the name of the Lord. My final Amen. question and, and, and closing, because we're going in uh, next week, we're, uh, next weekend, uh, uh, we're going to have a, another exclusive interview uh, with an ex grandmaster that used to go into various community and, uh, you know, drink people blood even while they're sleeping. So I, I'm just finalizing the, 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 um, the, the time with them because it's a very, after um, um, vessel. So where do you see this phenomenon of the end time deception heading in the future? Are there any emerging friends or development that needs particular attention there in Brazil? Um, and so can you, can you give us a little bit on the different things that you see going on even in Brazil where you are at this time, sir? Here in Brazil, um, there is a page advice from the Lord. In one of its videos, it says that the only thing left for Jesus to return is for his name to be spoken everywhere. There are still places where the name of the Lord hasn't been spoken. Because after that, Jesus will come back to get us. Amen? Amen. So Jesus is coming back to get us, and I hope that that is what is being preached and echoed through all the, the different churches in Brazil and every church that you are invited to go. You must make an emphasis to ensure that, you know, people is getting altar calls because I know there's a lot of churches today they don't have altar calls after the services. And so we, we don't even, we are not even sure who are saved and who is not saved. So as you said, we delve deeper into the scripture, we learn to depopulate hell and to populate the kingdom of heaven through the things that Jesus has, has taught us. I thank you, Pastor, so much for sharing a quality time. Hallelujah. Answering, you know, each, each concern of the body of Christ. Can you just leave a word of prayer with us as we move into the other phase of the service tonight? In Jesus' name. Thank you so much, Pastor. Oh, you're welcome. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Can do the end of the prayer and we wrap it up right here. Hallelujah. Uh, I want to I want to speak um, here. If you want, we can form a study group. Me, you, and people who are interested in this topic to study and delve deeper to depopulate hell and populate the kingdom of heaven. Amen? The only thing I can say is that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father if not through him. There is no other way to be saved on Jesus. So let's think first and strong so that we long we all don't be deceived in the end time. Because all of them will be saved. Hallelujah. 
we please say in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And so thank you so much, Pastor, for your time. Uh, tonight we're going into deliverance from the occult. I believe this word of God in my belly is bubbling over to its, its frequency and realm. Uh, as we have heard throughout um, this week, last week, and uh, in a couple of days going, there's a lot of people that is under every satanic bombardment from the occult. And so after this interview, the Inter interview, I want to take this opportunity to basically ask God to secure those that belongs to him, uh, that everyone that names the name of Jesus uh, will not only depart from iniquity, but occultic practitioners uh, will not be eating their flesh and drinking their blood, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, shout hallelujah somebody on this line. In the oh, name hallelujah. of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Our next, uh, God tell me to start doing Interview because for a while I've been talking about a lot of things that many people deem not fit for. They are saying that it's not, you know, it, it's not doctrinally correct. But I'm here to send a word out to these people who are eating flesh and drinking in the blood of God's people. God did not deliver you to commit sacrilege. So eating people flesh and using God's children for sacrifice is not doctrinal correct. It's not doctrinally correct. So don't tell me about doctrinal correctiveness. Rather what you need to do is stop because some of you will be dropping. Hallelujah. Will be dropping. And God has been saying that stop kill his people. Stop eating their flesh. Stop drinking their blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So tonight we're going to give God thanks for you and I hope that you will come again and bring your church family there in Brazil. Give everyone our love from the line of Judah prophetic ministry. We're looking forward for the next time where we will go deep in the things of God and we will explore the things of the kingdom and we will make his glory known. Saints of God wherever you are right now can you open your mouth and say I will not be used as a sacrifice in the name of Jesus. I will not be used as a sacrifice. My body parts will not be used as a sacrifice. Any power that wants to train my body, any power that wants to train my soul, it will not work, it shall not stand, it will not come to pass, I shall not be used as a sacrifice. Sacrifice I shall not be used as a sacrifice in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall I will not be used as a sacrifice in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. 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 My team tonight, my team tonight is burn them, God. Burn the wicked with unquenchable fire. Burn their realm physically and spiritually. Burn their altar. We're not asking for them to repent and come into church after they kill 50 people and say, oh, I kill 110, but God stop me. We're asking God to burn them now. For we don't know who is the next person. They will subpoena to their court. We don't know who they will issue a summons to their head and you have to appear by fire. Something is burning in my spirit and I want to talk to you tonight and I want you to hear me as I hear God. Hallelujah. The day 
fish are up and us when the warlocks are not outside in the grass yard, in the old man shop, or in the witchcraft practitioner or guru office. They are right on the pulpit using human blood, using human blood to erect their altar, to give them prestige, to give them, hallelujah, influence and affluence, to give them the oil of seduction to draw people to the million into their churches so they can use them one one two two three three and five five as sacrifice i have been crying against this abomination for a while and for a while i feel like i needed to get quiet but when i see that god is raising up other men and other women and calling out their names and telling them you're gonna die for your immoral practices God is saying something and we are not on the side of those who said oh my God oh God the prophetess don't say we are on the side that says God let your will be done on earth as in heaven and let your kingdom come by fire amen 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 do you know why I'm angry in my spirit I come on this line how many years now I'm on this line crying with people who are always harassed by the kingdom of darkness seeing people losing their minds seeing people blood pressure high seeing people heart stopping people brain stopping all because of a cultic practitioner that don't want to leave God's children alone can we say God let your will be done and let your kingdom let your will be done in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah, Marco Shata. Why don't you say it a little louder? You have caused me a lot of pain, says the Lord. Hallelujah. And God is getting ready to vindicate his people. Amen. Amen. Your vindication is coming. Some of you who have it Amen shall not be overlooked. I'm going to talk to you tonight like my father is talking to me. Mighty God, here is what is here. 13 and verse 20 says, here is what it says, you have profaned me among my people for a handful of barley and scrap of bread by lying to my people who would listen, you have killed those, listen, way beyond to the warlock stem, you have killed those who should not die and spare those who should die. Can I prophesy what God says? Amen. The yeah. innocent who spoke deserve to die. And the one that, that must die, you yeah. preserve them. Thus says the Lord. Yeah. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. I am against the magic. Hi, hi, hi. I'm against the magic. I'm against the charm which you ensnare souls like birds. Look at the terminology. I want to start this text over. I want you to tell everybody to be quiet and let the Lord blaze the trumpet in Zion in the prophetic yeah. name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. I, God Almighty, I'm reading from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 13. I'm reading from 19 through to 21. The Bible says, you, God is speaking to, you have profaned me among my people for an full of barley and scraps of bread by lying to my people who would listen. You have killed those who should not have died and spared those you should not have hallelujah, should not let live. Therefore, this is what the Lord God says. See, I am against the magic. You magician in the church. God say, I'm against the magic, the charm which would you ensnare souls like bird and I will tear them from your arms. Somebody said, all you people out there who thought that your ministry was not good, 
get ready to raise up church because we're going to collect millions of people running for their lives. In the name of Jesus, God says you'll use your charm, you'll yeah. use your magic, and you ensnare the soul them in your churches, you bastard. The people want to leave the church and they can't leave because they use magic and charm on them to keep them so you can use them for sacrifice. But God says, I will tear them off out of your hands because you have ensnared them like a bird. And so they will free. They will be free. Somebody say like a bird. They will be free. Here is what the Lord says. You have engineered my engineer souls. You engineer souls like birds. I will tear them from your hands. So I will feed the souls. You have engineers like bird. Another scripture says our soul is escaped like a bird out of the snare. The snare is broken. Somebody said the snare is broken. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The snare the occultic snare, the black witch snare, the black cult snare, the snare, the snare, the snare, hallelujah, is broken, my soul is escape as a bird out of the snare, the snare of being used as a sacrifice, the snare of ritualistic murder, last night I spent the whole night crying, I cried until my eyes were so woman, I cannot show myself to anyone at this time. I remember a lady called me. She's a prophetess anarchy. I cannot sleep. They are tormenting me. Hallelujah. I feel like I want to take my life. I know God loves me, prophetess Anna, but I feel like I want to take my life. God, this thing is tormenting me. I can't sleep. Psalms 124 verse 7 says, Our soul is a snare, escape as a bird out of the snares of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. So when God begin to open the revelation and when God begin to speak it, our pastor Anarchy Israel is not mad. We are we are ahead of our generation. We have tapped into another frequency and realm where the enemy don't want the church to come into. But God is kicking down the door He's breaking down the windows and he said, Church, escape out of the snares by me giving you revelation and breaking the snares so they will not cage you and kill you. So I hear you in the mighty name of Jesus. So tonight we're going to pray against the summons. So in the realm of the physical and the spiritual, there is what I call the realm of uh, 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 spirits, where you have the metaphysical, where you have the electromagnetic, the metaphysical, where you have the astral, the astral, the celestial, the terrestrial, the metaphysical realms. It's a realm like a 3D realm. It's a realm where you have things that operate to the next dimension. God said to me, Anna, it is good that we are getting the revelation about what these people are doing, but revelation without getting prior to safeguard you is is very serious. Because we can't get revelation and running up and down without solution. We must get revelation and solution so we can be saved. Am I talking hallelujah? So when the revelation comes, we need to go to God and say, God, what must I do to be saved? How can I escape this daddy? The, the, the revelation is an indication that something is wrong. But we don't just take the revelation and sit down on it. We must take the revelation, go to God and ask, what can I do to be saved from these eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood? In the name of Jesus, am I communicating? So in the earth, it is the way of court. So in the spiritual realm, we have courts. Courts is where offenders are 
taken. So when you commit a crime as a person, you're going to require to go to the court of law in the physical. Also in the spiritual, you are going to go to the court. So what God says to me, my God, uh, that because it's coming to the end now, uh, and there's going to be a serious onslaught of the enemy now that he's exposed, individual must make up their mind to become their own prayer warrior, their own prophet. Am I talking? You must get ready to traverse in the realm of the spirit. You must get ready to walk up and down in your house to shut down witches and wizards and mediums and coven and cauldron. Shut them down right from in the church. It doesn't matter how them are preach and a teach. Begin to say, oh God, right now in my church, I begin to shut down every witch and every wizard and every medium. Every coven that is issuing a summons to summons us to use of a sacrifice. We begin to shut them down. You have an appointment with God tonight to walk up and down in your environment using your home as a point of contact right where you are, child of God. The principality, the ruling spirit in your region must not summon you when you're sleeping to come to any witchcraft coven. In the name of Jesus, my team tonight is burn them and kill them. Wherever they are, burn them and kill them. Burn down their coven that they use to attack and oppress us. Bury them on their altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. Burn them God begin to say to me, I hope you could agree with me. I wish you could agree with me. Uh That when you come on this line and you get the prayer point and you get the information, also going to get prayer to kill them, to channel them to another place, to get them all for you. Many people in the churches today, God love them world without end. But because we are so affiliated with these church, church devils, it is caught in a breach in our protective shield and those who should live is dying and those who should die is eating people to preserve and elongate their life. People in the churches today are facing deadly attack from the coven in the church. The coven in the church. We are the warriors. Can you say, oh my God, set the coven in the church. In the name of Jesus. The virus over my brother in Brazil, in the churches. That's why you find people coming to church and say the church has no power because they're cramping us right in the church. When you're going to call fasting, the grandmaster in the church already know that Wednesday is fasting and he takes the information and tells the secret society come their fasting on Wednesday, come the fire vigil on Thursday. Some of you, you need to pray on your own by your yourself in this season. Am I talking to someone? In the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible tells us in the book of Hosea that my people perish for a lack of knowledge. If a person does not have the level of understanding of the spiritual things that are at work, they will succumb to the things that is going on around them. In the name of Jesus Christ, but when you are alert and when you are aware of the things that are is going on around you, your spiritual reality is open. Are you not just a Christian that's speaking in tongues and not utilizing the wisdom that God has given you to pull on heaven for weapon? For the weapons of your warfare are not carnal but mighty through Jesus Christ to the pulling down of strong or inclusive but not limited to the cauldron and the cult in the church. The weapon of bombs, grenade, engine of war, we can utilize. Second Corinthians 4 verse 10, we can weaponize the weapon and send them to get back. The revival in the church is going to be a brutal takeover for the warlocks don't want to leave the pulpit. So we got to summon the weapons that Second Corinthians.
Shana, chapter 4, verse 10, put a shout I hear you. Robo Koshaka. So God began to say to me, uh, you're in the church and you're being summons. Halibu Shaka. You're being summons. The pastor summons in you. Not all the pastors are occultic, but the occultic pastors, they have our name in their books. They have our name in their books. Some of them we don't know. I will pay our tithes to them. And they summons you at night when they need an next sacrifice. They summons you at night. I know I am talking to somebody. Every night you go to your bed, you feel like something wants to stop your heart. Rabakushata bakushata. If you refuse to walk when God tell you to walk, you will be a meal for the lions. Rabadoshka dabadoshka. Who am I here for? Feel the Holy Ghost up in here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So when God, that's why I tell some of you stop walk from church to church, from channel to channel. But you don't know because we're in a digital era. They can just raise their hands with the sign. The, the, the sign. Hallelujah. And program it in your life. They don't have to come to your house to lay hands on you. Right? And some of these network that you're watching is highly occultic. Highly occultic. They know that many people not coming to church. So they're programming it through the screens. You become oak. I pray for you tonight. I pray for you from the depths of my heart that everything they have already projected in you that is already working that the Holy Ghost will cut off the summons. Every part of your body they are summons in. They are summons in your head to, 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 to make you headless. I know you. I know I'm talking to someone. If I'm talking to you tell talk back to me. Say Providence yeah. you're talking to me tonight. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If the infiltration could not come through the movie, a lot of people I know went to watch the Harry Potter movie and some children come back mad. That means what is in the movie affected them. Am I communicating? I'm sure. Amen. I'm not Amen. Sometimes you watch a movie and all night the demons stand up in your brain. You can't sleep. Rabadosh Kai. Because Amen. these movies, the screens are becoming real. The holograms are becoming real. The holograms are becoming real. So God says, Amen. come on, child of God. Look on your body right now. Which part of your body is being summoned to a witchcraft meeting? Which part of your body, which is unwizard? are eating down. Which part of your body feel like it's going under? God sent me tonight. The summons that is on your brain. The summons on your private area. Because in the occult, they got to rape you and rape you. And when you scream, when you're tormented, and when you cry out, they collect your hydrogen comb. They collect your energy. They empower themselves through the energy that comes out of your butt, out of your vagina, out of your throat crying, out of your screaming. I wonder if the church is ready for this awkward kind of preaching. For this is the end time. And to tell witchcraft to give up. You can't go with your eye for looting. Brainwash self. You got to go in power and in might. For Paul says, I do not come with excellency of speech. For the power is in the word. Paul says, I come through power. Rabadosh Katuri Rabadosh Kai Show Power Power is what we need. We must be illustrative in this end time when we are being summoned to be killed. We can lie down and roll over and tell them to take and eat and be merry. It's blood for blood, flesh for flesh, eyeball for eyeball. I am not lying and laying over for you to eat me. I have a purpose in the earth. Shout hallelujah. Can you tell me which is my Hallelujah. Can you tell them that you're not lying down? You know you have a purpose. Woo! 
Are you there, child of God? No, in the witchcraft kingdom, there is a lot of summons that you need to know about. There is a death summons, there is a eat of flesh summons, there's a raping summons, there's an insanity summons, there's a uh, there is a poverty summons. Some people get strike with blindness. Hallelujah. So witchcraft summons are very dangerous. And when the COVID is in the church, it is even more dangerous because you go to church lifting up all the hands and not knowing that it's in the church. You're getting the attack. Psalm 7 verse 11. God judged the righteous and God is angry with the wicked every day. I pray that as they are discussing how to summon your brain, how to summon your feet, how to summon your organ, to use your peace, peace, to means you a peace peace and to use you as sacrifice I pray tonight that you will pick up a weapon in your hand, you will stop condemning yourself, you will stop pronouncing evil and wonder what you do you didn't do nothing the devil is a liar, the devil intend to kill you and to steal your precious life you must get up as a war a warrior who shot him you must not and give over Amen. to the enemy in your homes, in your sons, turning your sons Amen. into lunatics. Hallelujah. Some of your sons need to confess some things that has been done to them. And I pray that more exposure will come. Can somebody say, Expose them, Lord? Do it all Amen. to do Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God is calling us to prayer. When you cannot just take for granted and say, no weapon that fashion against me shall prosper. You must ensure that the weapon don't prosper. You have a work to do, not just to say that word and just lie down. You have to call for some weapon to ensure that the enemy weapon don't prosper against the weapon of God in your hand. Hallelujah. Mighty God. You cannot just say the weapon of my warfare not coinal are you not pulling down any weapon you need to say the weapon of my warfare not coinal I call on the machine gun of heaven to shoot every power eating my flesh right now every reptilian eating me right now I call for the machine gun of heaven and I shoot down every reptilian eating my flesh can you try out the weapon tonight for the weapons of your warfare Fear, I'm not gone. Can you open about to I say the weapon, 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 the
cases of the earth are full of the habitation of cruelty. For somebody to be eating our flesh in the church, that church is not a church. That church is an habitation of cruelty. Shout hallelujah in the name hallelujah. of God. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Father, come into my heart. Wash that on the heart. Wash that on the brain. But I'm here to tell the church we are winners. I feel a winning Amen. 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 Amen
pray to their court, to their blood sucking court. Can you lift your voice and ask Granddaddy anywhere I have seen that court? I ask you forgiveness, Lord. And where I am sick, that cost the court, the court, to have an access point. Come on, open them out. Don't play with me now, because they know it's a true. Anywhere I have heard all of these pastors that I was affiliated to are with God Almighty. That is in the occult, Jesus, Lord, that has got an assignment on my life because I didn't know they were partaking in selling human souls, killing human beings, God. Can you please forgive me, Jesus? Can you please wash me in your blood? Jesus, can you open up the prophetic mouth and ask the Lord? If you don't repent, there's no forgiveness. You gotta repent. If you have to repent a hundred times, a million times, God said something to me. God said to me, the Brotherhood is an occultic organization that compromises of high level Satanists. An animal figure, he said, that is worship, sad to say, even as God has a plan for our destiny, so does the devil and his angel. They are infiltrating the churches today, says God. In the spiritual and the physical realm, they are, you know what I see? I saw mass orgies, mass licking and demoralizing sexual pollution. Not one man, not five men, hundreds of men and women all in sexual pollution, ongoing sex, because the entity that is having sex with them is not even from this dimension. And the ritual that they do is very serious. They use marriage, says the Holy Ghost, as a faith God. All the members have sex with each other. Ritual are done with animalistic beings and extraterrestrial deities and human blood ritual are paid through virgin butt. Uh, I want to say virgin butt. Did you hear me say virgin butt? Virgin butt, the Lord says. Hallelujah. Sacrifices and rituals are being done. Pastors and leaders in various churches are a part of it. And I reiterate, I get this long thing I've been writing it and I said, I am going to share with you that the Lord says the occultic brotherhood is an organization and an occultic organization that comprises of high level Satanists. When I say high level, high level is not what you see. It's not only those in the church. You have those in the private sectors, those in, the, in all kind of industries that are a part of this organization and they pay homage to animal figure like Balfamek, which we speak about at length numerous time on this platform, and they are worshipping Bial, the cow, and animalistic beings. God says he has a plan for our destiny and also the agent of darkness. That's why they are infiltrating the churches. God says, I want you to war over your virtues like never before because the trading is on virtues and the trading is on your virtues and your energy field. They are going to strip you if you don't take the initiative to war. Rabbi Doshkai ask the Lord, says the Holy Ghost, to release all kind of weapon, even weapon that you don't know, even weapon that is not created yet, that you may need to survive. Your faithful Father will do it, says the Spirit of Grace. Shout hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Sometimes I hear people in the church saying, oh, they feel arose. Oh, they're feeling honey all the time. They feel like they want to have intercourse all the time. It is because of the sexual proliferation of all kind of deities and pollution that is going on in the earth realm. Some of the churches is not what you think it is. It's a private cult. I am going to employ you to stay 
where you are born and stop going from altar to altar, church to church, profit this from profit this, and get some infiltration. Then you start to behave like you're mad. Am I talking to someone? I hope you're taking stock of yourself. Stop running from platform to platform. Go read your Bible. Amen. 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 Hey. God bless you all. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, Amen. Here, How here. would you like to know that the, 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 uh, the, the Illuminati have their prophets? They are called Oracle of the Illuminati. Oracle of the Mason. And they have the third eye. Some of them have six eyes on their forehead. Some of them have four eyes on their forehead. So you come and say, I'm a man of God. They can see in time, space, dimension, realm, timeline, and they can give you accurate prophecy. Why don't you get in the word? Why don't you get in the word of God? I have a problem with you so-called people who don't want to go in the word. We call it a real word, scripture in the the chat. Only five people read the entire Bible. Nobody wants to read. You want to get it ready, don't like microwave where you're going to get a ready done son package to hell if you don't turn from your wicked ways ah you think it, you think you think it's just not serving god is a wicked ways your wicked ways is staying from the things of god and not partaking in the things of god you like the big platform you like the intellect you like the fact that they're eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and the sincere pastors who lie on their face and strip themselves crying to God over your soul. You abandon them. God said, watch it because your judgment is coming. For God says, not only those who, who do the sin going to pay the price, but those who love them that does it, they're going to pay the same price. Are you hearing me? God is speaking Amen. to the church. Amen. 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 So I am not a lesbian. I don't, I'm not a lesbian, but I like that lesbian pastor. I just watch a program. I post it in the group where the bishop announced the man as the, the, um, 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 you know, your first lady. First lady, when you're married to your husband and he's in ministry, the first lady, yes, the doctor so-and-so, apostle first lady so-and-so. This is not so. The bishop introduced his wife as first gentleman. Hell no. Not in church. Not in the church of Jesus Christ. I Amen. never see happen with the Apostle Paul, Peter, John, and none of them. They didn't mind no boogerism in the church. Hallelujah. Man having anal sex with man. Are you coming to lay hands on who? Go lay hands on your anus and get bad from it out of it. In the name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah. 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 That is why you're saying the church is powerless. Listen to me. The reason why God has to start the killing right now is because some of them, because of their influence and affluence, they ain't going nowhere. Hallelujah. They will kill you, but God says, I am taking them home. And it's it's not a joke. People who can really hear God knows that these words that are going out there, some of them is accurate. Not all of them. Amen. Some of Amen. them is accurate. Amen. God right. never destroyed a city without giving a warning. God That's never right. destroyed Amen. a nation Amen. without giving a warning. That's right. and Amen. Even, and, and, uh, that's why we who are sent to one, we get a, we have to make sure our house in order. Because we know that some of them are gonna want to come and attack. Man don't oh, yeah. to shut up. I saw it in the spirit and I said it's gonna be a bloody war. So all of you need to shut your mouth and just stay in prayer. And I wasn't there when it happened. I don't see nothing. I don't know nothing. It don't mean I am on their side. It means I am not speaking a word unless God Amen. gives me the utterance. Shout hallelujah. 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 You're going up, you're going to you're going to subscribe to their pages and those that wants to kill you. Hallelujah. And kill them. Go online and see your comment and say, Oh, Sister Anna, 
Sister Valora, they snap all your name. And when attack start, bam! One in the end. You don't know where it's coming from. Get stay out of people's business. Your rule yeah. as a Christian is yeah. to take it to the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah. Yeah. Take it to him. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. I wonder if I'm on the right church. Some, some people not. Amen. Amen. Because you might say, you might say, prophetess, uh, oh, you're prophetic. I, and God gave me that five years ago. Yes. Uh huh. And he's still saying, uh, Yes. But God has a time and a season when it no longer talks, but it's right. action time. Yes. Amen. 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 God is not a God that talk, talk, talk. January talk, February talk, March in my talk, April, May, June, July talking. Hello, by October, God joined the sword. Hello, somebody. Amen. God just walk in the camp and start to be a them. Chop up the air. Chop off the hand. Shock zero. Till it's first born. God is not a plaything. He is a man of war. Show me the Amen. 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 God. Amen. 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 But the day come when God says, you are taking this treatment for, for granted. Let's see all your anger, the judgment of death. Since you don't want to line up, since you don't want to turn back, somebody say, I will turn back and not be consumed. In the name of Jesus. I will turn back in the name of Jesus. I will turn back in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray, oh God. Anywhere I have aligned myself, and you know you do it now. Yes, you, you send that big offering. I just like this man as an excellent spirit. Huh? I didn't know that he's a reptilian speaking to you. Uh, I didn't know that Queen of the Coast hide herself in disguise. Ah, you didn't know that it's a siren singing. That's why I stopped listening. Most of the songs them that are current, I stopped listening to them. Just a few. I go back to the old hymn when they didn't sell out the song to a certain society to get fame. Because even though some of the gospel songs are polluted, don't pray with yes. me tonight. I'm talking Amen. straight from the Lord's school. Amen. 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 I go back to the old aim where nobody was trying to get rich. Hallelujah. Those old aim people were just trying to serve God and make it in alive. Hello, somebody. They were not trying for fame and fortune. So can you say, oh God, please, my father, thank you, Lord, for opening my eyes to the witchcraft that is going on in the churches today, daddy. I ask that any part of my body that has been summoned to the altar that will be okay to take my body, to take my life in the black man cult, the cult of death that is over my life. Come on, you're going to pray tonight. Anyway, I am being summoned in the cult of death, the cult of destruction, the cult of ruination. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I use the blood of Jesus. I enter the heaven with the Lord, I enter the altar with the Lord. I enter the altar with the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the Marine Lodge, Marine Lodge, Marine Coven, Coven of Black Debt, Coven of White Debt, any Coven that they have me in, any Coven material in my body, I ask that you will work the blaze in the name of Jesus. Any one of my children, our family member, that they have summons in their world, God, you open up your mouth, you love and do shop and do sky, in the name of Jesus, please lift up your water, please, Christmas or no Christmas, ah, 
Father, in the name of Jesus. Uh-huh. Father, in the name of Jesus. I am praying over this water, Father. I ask that this water will become a mysterious antibiotic, antimicrobial, antifungal. Father, you will use this water to go down to the habitation of the summons, the devilish devices that is in the body, that is attacking day and night with mysterious attacks. God Almighty, we have no other God but you. We don't want the gods. Our eyes are on you. And if you don't come true for us, we are dead. I will want them to know that we know that you have the power. We want them to know that we know that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And we love not our life unto the dead. So, Father, we ask that as we drink this water, it will go into our internal organ. We will obtain power from an eye to overcome the master devil and all their plans in the powerful, awesome name of Jesus Christ. And any part of the bodily system that is under attack by the spirit of death and hell, because they were summoned, hallelujah, to the covenant of death. We ask that the blood will speak. Holy Ghost, the blood is available to speak to us. The blood of Jesus that can do better things than that of Abel. Let the blood speak. We make a demand on the blood. We make a demand. We make a demand. We make a demand. The Bible says, Whosoever call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. It's not a if or a mot. We must. We shall be delivered. I feel Jesus. Oh, Yabaku, Shaka de Mohoa. Reka, Baba, Bashanda. We decree my Hebrews 12 24 unto Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, to the blood of sprinkling that speak better things than that of Abel. We ask that every witch, every wizard that hiding in the body to eat your children. God of Elijah, I cannot emphasize it some more. I ask. God, that you will go in with the water. Go in with it, God. Go in with the water and remove direct sentence of destruction upon the body. Direct sentence of destruction and death and decay necrosis. Hallelujah! Not only upon them, but upon their children. Can you begin to drink the water? Drink it. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Time for prayer. Who shot First prayer point, I plead the blood of Jesus inside my organs. I plead the blood of Jesus inside my children organs. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ in my organs. Adam Kasata. I plead the blood of Jesus in my organs. Rabadosh Kabadu Sabadu Sataya. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus. In my children organ, I plead the blood of Jesus. In my organs, I plead the blood of Jesus. In my organs, the blood of Jesus. In my organs, the blood. Open them out, everybody on your the phone. I plead the blood. I plead the blood of Jesus. In my organs, I show my organs. I show. Come on, I show. I 
The Lord will be in the day of trouble. The name of the Lord, the God of Jacob, defend thee, send thee out from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all that offering and accept that bread offering. That's why you must sow and don't be stingy because in the day of trouble, God remember your offering. Say, oh God, I rise. Remember all my offerings. of death on the ear of bothering you. Ah, say the attack is on your brain. Oh God, release the instrument of death upon the attacker on my brain, the attacker on my heart. Can you get it? Can you get it? Can you get it? Can you get it? We're going to ask the Lord, we're going to ask the Lord to release the divine instrument of death. I see some of you on the sign and I want to send out a strong rebuke. You have no faith. That's why the enemy is beating you like a ball. You have no faith in God. If that enemy is in your neck back, Father, release the instrument of death upon the octopus, upon the squid, upon the spider, in my neck back, in my shoulder, in my heart. You need to ask the Lord. The instrument of death is what we're going to use. Are you ready, please? Are you ready? In the name of Jesus. Arise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, arise in your power. Oh Lord, arise in your power. Arise in your power. And say this. In Psalm 7, verse 13, God, your word. God says, he had also prepared for him uh, the instrument of death. He ordained his arrow against his persecutor. Open your mouth. Hallelujah. The instrument of death of the Lord. We are the instrument of death of the Lord. Look at the heart attack. Look at the heart attack. Look at the heart attack, the heart conversion, the heart oppression, the heart oppression, the attack upon the heart from the spirit of death and hell, instrument of death, wipe out the weapon of death and hell, buried in my brain, buried in my back, buried in my kidney, buried in my female reproductive system. Come on, open them out. Instrument of death, divine judgment of the Lord. Locate the enemy upon my brain, upon my heart, upon my foot bottom, in my life. God release, you're not praying. Open your mouth, I need to hear you. Lord, release instruments of death. 
God of many instruments of death. God of many instruments of death. Oh God, instrument of death in my foot bottom. Kill the spirit coming to my foot bottom. Kill the non human entity, the mythical creature attacking my side, attacking my back, attacking my heart, attacking my brain. The instrument of death, the instrument of death, of an alien, an alien in my body. I release the instrument of death, of an alien in my body. Come on, open your mouth. Why don't you pray? All alien, eating on my body. I release instrument of death, instrument of death, instrument of death of the Almighty. Open your mouth. Hallelujah. 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 Do you know you're not praying? There's only five persons praying this. Oh, my God. That's why some of you are going to be eating this year. When they start to eat, you don't call me. I said, open up your mouth. Instrument of death of the Lord. Kill every alien. Eating on my body. Kill every reptile. Eating on my body. Kill the reptile in my when I used to talk about these little alien king, you thought that I'm crazy, but now somebody is spilling the bleem. Say instrument of death, kill every in my flesh. Open up your mouth, open teams, don't weary the church, pay the power point, pay the power point, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, release the instrument of death, open all aliens, all draconians, all reptiles, all crocodiles, all octopus, all squids, release, my God. We live in the name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Can you feel it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Holy Ghost. Listen, listen. I'm going to tell you. When, do you know why I feel so good in my spirit? Because you all know that Prophetess Anna K was not crazy. When she was telling you that God showed these things. Shabado. You know what God tell me now? Uh, get up where you are. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, begin to walk. Pace the floor. Say, say this loud out clear. Instrument of death of the Lord. Locate. Every mermaid spirit fighting to take control of my body. Let me stop and tell you. Do you want to hear? I should yes. just continue Amen. with the prayer. Do yes, you want to hear? hear. Yes. All right, let me tell you why, my beloved. Do you know why I love you people so much? You, 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 you have a passion to learn. And so you can never be successful until you understand what you're doing. You don't understand. It cannot be a mystery. You must be able to understand it line upon line, precept upon precept. Sometimes when we come online, you get, you, you get, you get angry and annoyed and say that every day we're talking about demons and we're talking about devil, but I realize that most people are dying with the prophetic word in their mouth. You're going to get three also, you're dying with the house and the prophecy on your head. Am I talking somebody? Are you here? Amen. Are you here? Amen. Are you here? Amen. 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 So I want to ask a question before I give you, I even my my pastor, Pastor jo- Joan, uh, are you there please? Pastor from Brazil, are you there, please? What time is it now in Brazil? (laughs) What is your time there? What is your time there now? It is uh, uh, 12.19 a.m. in the U.S. now. What is your time there in Brazil now? Yes, uh, 2 2 p.m. 2 p.m.? 
in the afternoon. Wow. 2 a.m. 2 a.m. So you're seven hours, six, five to six hours ahead of us. Okay. All right, let me tell you something. Uh, no. Oh, it's a.m. So, so that means you're two hours ahead of us if it's a.m. But if it's p.m., then there's another thing. So saints... As I was praying, I tap into something. And I, each time I come online, and when I tell you these things that you don't take it, then it is your business. Can I tell you what the Holy Spirit revealed to me, please? Amen. 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 So the Lord says Amen. to me, all around us today, um, when you look at all oh, the ladies and the men are dressing, you know that there is a principal spirit behind the dressing. So one of the principal spirit that is fighting America, unknown to many people, is the sirens. Can somebody say sirens, please? Sirens. 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 So when you look at the ladies and you see them with the eyelashes and you see them with the the, the, the long fingernails, fingernails are not the norm now. They're looking like claws. Can you identify that they're looking like bird claws? Yes. 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 So God yes. begin to tell me that there is a mythical creature as a principality that is over these things. And these mythical creatures, they are called the, the sirens. Sirens are mythological creatures from Greek mythology. They are often portrayed as beautiful seductive beings with the upper body of a woman and the lower body of a bird. Of a bird. Somebody say bird. Oh, bird. Oh. Sirens were known. I want, I want to tell you something. And this is very serious. Please to tell me about a mythical creature. That is called the siren. And he said to me, many of the women are wearing the things that pertain to the siren. I had to tell you this right now, child of God. The reason why I have to tell you this is because even if you never, even if you never did anything to do with the siren, the mere fact that you are affiliated in any way or form with people who, you know, <laughs> the siren is operating through, you will automatically become ensnared by the siren. When God told me that, I was so shocked. So, for example, where you work, you know, in there, uh -huh. say, for example, you are affiliated with someone who has a siren. I just mute the phone. I saw where it is coming from. So I can talk now. I can flow. Can you hear me clearly, beloved? Please, everyone Amen. need to hear Amen. this. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All right. So I go, I go back to what I originally started to talk. I was introducing to you what God told me. He said, Anake, the eyelashes, some of the ear and all of these things that they're wearing, it is a great way for the abduction and the proliferation of the siren to another level. I said, what do you mean? He said, have you not noticed the ear stars and the eyelashes and stuff? And he said, all the women that are wearing these things, they are initiated into the siren cult. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah, Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Are Amen. known unto them that their beauties are being mortgaged. Your energy field mortgaged. So as I said before, the siren are mythical or mythological creatures, not human. They are creatures from the Greek mythology. They are often portrayed as beautiful, one, seductive, two, and they are women body part, woman, the upper body of a woman and the lower body of a bird. Sirens were known for their enchanted voices, which they used to lure sailors to their doom. According to mythology, sirens will sing irresistible songs that will captivate someone to hear them. Who hear them? So sailors 
back in the days, um, what they will do, sailors navigating the seas will be drawn towards the songs. I wanted to show you this. I don't know if your eyes are open, all the prophets that are online. The sirens are being used right now in America. They are being used at Starbucks. You see them on different, you know, in, on different logos. The sirens are very much right here with us right now. Hello, somebody. Are you there? Hello? Oh, Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 So for those Amen. of you that drink the Starbucks coffee, you see the big siren with her tail on it. Hello, somebody. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So here is what used to happen to the sailors. The sailors, when navigating their way in the sea, they the, the siren will sing, and they will not. Be, the sailors will not be able to resist. The sirens allure. Do you know what the sailors had to do? The siren songs were known to be so seductive that the sailors will become enchanted and lose their sense of direction. So you can imagine that when we, when we are in the siren cult, we are losing our sense of direction, leading their ship to crash upon the rocky shore where the siren resides. So the siren will be so in, um, enslaving um, the, 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 pilot, the, the, um, the, the sailors with their seductiveness that the sailors will lose control of their ship and crash so that they will die. The siren were mentioned in several times in mythology. God tell me that there is a battle with the siren in the spiritual realm and a lot of people not seen the battle. So me, I don't wear some of these things that they're wearing. I do wear false eyelashes and I don't go to the extreme. We don't need all of these things. Are you trading your eyeballs to the, to the, the siren kingdom? Siren voices, hallelujah, have long and a certain allure. By mystique in mythology and folklore. Now I want to change the name of folkloric and mythological creatures. For they are very much here. They are the enchant threats. Can somebody say enchant threats? E N C H A N T R E S S E S. All right. So when time they when you wear their things now and they start to they start to enchant upon you, take your beauty, take your 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 your, your health, and you're running from doctor to doctor. It's a big thing going on in the realm of the spirit. It's a spiritual trade. Once you partake in their things, you're in trouble because they have you in their kingdom. And when you start to pray a certain prayer, like you're praying, Doctor Uluku, your prayer, and you're still not departing from the things that belong to the siren, they will come in and kill you. So we have to be aware of these sirens that are taking over and it's called the bird siren cult. They manipulate us through even some of the music in the industry. Siren give people their vocal and give people money and um, um, ability to make wealth. It is the siren. The book of Enoch talk about the sirens. The sirens are falling angel. Are you hearing me? Child of God. In the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we can't partake in their things. And, and, and in the book of Enoch, hallelujah, the book of Enoch is also known as a, in, in, in Asian Jewish religion, hallelujah, as a biblical figure who is said to have been taken up to heaven by God and given knowledge of divine secrets. This is very profound because even as the angels came on earth and give divine secret to the earth's population and polluted the earth, so we have Enoch, a fifth figure between 3rd century BCE and 1st century CE, who God took up in the heavenly and so Enoch constructive divine secret to a man when they were going to be totally annihilated by these angels. Angels who that rebel against God. So I want you to know that the sirens are also vicious birds that eat human flesh and drink their blood. They are so vicious 
When they attack you, the only thing they come to do is to kill you. I so I want you to add that to your prayer. Oh Lord, deliver me from the infiltration of a siren. Pastor um, Diki Oluku, you call these birds evil birds. They are not what you think they are. They can shape shift into human. They coming into the earth. I get to realize when you look in the prophetic realm, there's a lot of creature that are coming into the, the realm. I know the lady that spoke about what's happening also speak about centaur. And how many of you hear me talking about centaur on this line for a long time? I didn't even know anything about Amen. this lady. His sister, his sister Debbie um, sent me a clipping about her must be three days ago. That's all I know about this lady. But God has been telling me about the center and all these things a long time that they are coming into the earth and when he used the terminology of them coming into the earth it's not like they are not already in the earth but they are coming into the human realm that's what they do they're coming into our realm making themselves known they're not gonna hide again like in previous year when they when they do things and they hide they are not because the occultic realm and all these New Age and all these um, 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 Gospels that are not of God. They are invoking strongly the demonic realm, the enchanted realms. So realms are activated and because realms are activated, child of God, even if you never go to the occult, you become a prey because of association, because of the time that we're living in. So that is why you have to pray. I hope this teaching will en en elongate your knowledge and encourage you to be a strategic warrior and not to take people by their face, but to search them out through the word and through their fruits. Am I talking to someone? Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We are coming down now. Hallelujah. And some of you, when we when we say um it's time to sow um tithes, you know, a ministry like this, we need to, you know, bring our thing on television. I've been asking for tithes for the T V. Um it's still outstanding. Uh huh. They're in the chat looking at me. Uh huh. And I'm saying to us here on this platform, those men that are raping Enos and they're getting millions. And you're supporting them. Uh huh. They're raping 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16 year old, and you're saying these are great men of God. Because they have money and influence in the kingdom of God, you are not qualified by how much money you have or how well learned you are. Hallelujah. In God's kingdom, the, 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 the foot is level at the foot of the cross. Righteousness without which no man shall see God. God don't, hallelujah, elevate it because you're well learned. That don't impress God. Hello. Amen. 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 If it was so, he wouldn't turn fishermen into God men, prostitute into evangelist, murderer into deliverer. Come on. Because the wisdom of God is wiser than the knowledge of man. And God uses the foolish things and to, to debase the wise. And they wonder what kind of madness it is. How can God use somebody that killed to stop the killing? It's more than one instant in the Bible God used that to make man go crazy. God used Saul of Tarshish. Saul, who used to murder Christian, become a God man. Then he goes to Moses, who killed the Egyptian. The man that, 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 who killed the, um, the, the Egyptian. Huh? And Moses have to flee and run to, je to the wilderness. We got to prepare him to come back and be a deliverer. Who can fathom God? Hello, somebody. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are we ready Amen. to pray? Amen. 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 I hope this prayer line is not in vain. I hope you're learning. I said, when I heard that these things are going on, I read, Saints, do you know how many days I am rejoicing? I am rejoicing because I say, after all, I was crazy. God, thank you. See, you're bringing it out. And God is publishing it on the own stuff. Yes. Everybody hearing it. They were trying yes. to cage one church. God put it on the own stuff. That's how God works. Hello, somebody. Amen. 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 Now we have 20 prayer points before we go. Are we ready? Prayer points. 
Fire part number one. Every black witch cult. Every black witch cult. Summons in me for sacrifice. Your time is up. Your time is up. Instrument of death. Kill everything they program in my body. Kill everything they program in my body. Kill everything they're using to make me sick. Kill everything they're using to make me sick. Kill everything they program in my brain and my heart. With the instrument of death. With the instrument of death. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Who am I talking to? Can you feel the fire? I feel fire all over my left side. Anybody that is under attack on their left side. The instrument of death of the Lord. Everything the black witch cult, the black witch cult. Listen to me. Instrument of death of the Lord. Don't punch me. Instrument of death of the Lord. Everything the black witch called. Everything the black witch called. Program in my body to kill me. Let the instrument of the death of the Lord. Let the instrument of the Lord. Kill the program. Kill the program. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I wonder if I'm on the right line. Because this don't sound like the lion of the tribe of Judah prophetic ministry. Huh? Because this don't sound like the lion of the tribe of Judah prophetic worship center. Uh-huh. Instrument of death of the Lord. Instrument of death of the Lord. Make it everything the black witch called. No, 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 the reason why we're going to use only the name of Yahweh, because huh, in their cult, they have a Jesus. So we want to make this, this, this is Yahweh name we're using for this, this rest, remaining of the prayer. So mighty Yahweh Elohim. Mighty Elohim. Your word declares. Also, every digit of pit. Shall fall into the pit that they have dug. Everything they are called, you got to pray it.
The Holy Ghost tell me stop. I want to give you a pictorial account of what you're talking about. So the next point you're going to say it like a mad prophet. Is it that they kill you or you kill it? You're saying it like a mad prophet. You're not nursing the attack. Are you hearing me? We're not here to nurse the attack. <laughs> Hallelujah. When I use the terms, whatever they program, so when they summons you, uh-huh, Anarchy appear and you're sleeping and you appear at the altar. The project, sickness, cancer, diabetes, heart disease, sudden death. Those are the programs that they put in you when they summon you in the coven. So I hope you get it now in your brain. Hallelujah. The instrument of death of Yahweh. Shabbatos. The instrument of death of Yahweh. Kill everything programmed in my body. Instrument on death of Yahweh. I feel the Holy Ghost. Everything program in my children, my grandchildren, my husband, yes, my wife. In everything program the instrument of death. Instrument of death of Yahweh Elohim. Of Yahweh Elohim. The instrument of death. Instrument of death. Program to take me out. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Instrument of death of Yahweh. In the name of Yahweh. The land of the living and the land of the dead. Search the galaxies on the second heaven. Search the cemeteries, the graveyard, and the sea. Search the underworld and regions of the dead. Search every neighbor that is involved in my trouble, neighbors. Begin to release the engine of war. Come on, channel. And the instrument of death. And And kill their programs. And, and kill the program. And those of you who I know are stubborn enemy, every program, every program, you're going to talk. I'm my head, I'm my foot bottom, I'm my brain, I'm the program. I'm my head, in my legs, in my legs, in my flesh. I 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
I'm going to say this before I come out. I'm coming down now. Uh, for those of you around the world that are hearing me right now, thank God for our noble caller. Uh, we had an uh, exclusive interview with a dynamic man of God from out of Brazil. We're still on, I, I hope. Are you still there, Pastor? Judge. <laughs> you are faithful. It's it's two AM in Brazil and he's still on with us. <laughs> Hallelujah. So here's what the Lord told me. Hmm? The Lord told me that the office is coming. 
but it's only for those who were laboring with him, up and down, in the good time and the bad time. He says, I'm going to put a law in action that your harvest will not be revoked. Hello, somebody. Amen. And I'm also going to watch over your harvest, that Amen. those who steal harvest, those who snatch harvest, will not see your harvest. So just as you have labored, so you will reap the abundance of that which you sought for, of that which you believe God for. Now, for those of you that are online, you have not known Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I pray for you from the depths of my heart. Just say this prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner, Lord. Forgive me of all my sins and iniquities and transgressions. Father, I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that God raises you from the dead. In the mighty name of Yahuwah, the sovereign king of the universe, look down from the holy habitation and have mercy on me, O Lord, and come into my heart and accept my prayer and consecrate me unto yourself. I offer my body as a living sacrifice unto you. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, take my name out of the book of death. Write my name in the book of life in Jesus' name. And for those of you that are online and you are plagued by all kind of demons, I pray for you that the king of the universe who has sanctified us by the commandment and commanded us to affix his blood upon our home. I say thou art the king of the universe who was and is and is to come. We ask that you will keep us with all diligence in your word. My Bahai, in the name of Bashem Yahushua as Mashiach, I ask right now that every house will be protected, every family will be protected, our children will be protected. We ask that you will make us a holy habitation. In favor, you will favor us. In mercy, you will have mercy on us. Accept our prayers. Consecrate this ministry. Consecrate this people. Consecrate me, my children, my grandchildren, my offspring. Consecrate our homes, our beds. For so you are all merciful and truth. The truth that you have shown us, Father God, we beseech you that you will let your loving kindness sit up on us and our children. It will not depart from us. Let the covenant of your wish well not be removed. Let the seal of the Lord abide in us. Let no sickness, no sorrow, no tragedy come into us, our own soul, or our dwelling place. In the mighty name of Jesus, shout hallelujah. 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 I want to pray a prayer on those who are sowing tonight. It is imperative that you don't take sowing normal in this time. There is nothing normal about your seed. There is nothing normal about your seed. Your seed is a battle axe for you, in case you didn't know. Uh -huh. You can at a point of death and your seed resurrect you from the dead. You must never look at your seed as mere offering anymore going forward. Your seed is a battle axe and a weapon of mass destruction to the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. And that's what they do in their kingdom. They, they give pastors big money because they know the importance of giving seed in the kingdom of darkness. It's only God's children uh, complain and talk on their seed. Not, the seed is a way you honor God. It is, it is very important important that you understand that your seed can bring you into realms of deliverance like you have never seen. I have seen it. I have one more prayer to pray. Those of you that have been harassed by fallen angel, been raped 
by fallen angel. Hallelujah. I ask that the seed that you sow, hallelujah, will bring you into remembrance. Remember we read the Psalms tonight? That remember my offering. Uh -huh. God says, I will remember you in the day of trouble through your offering, not through your robo koshoto, robo koshoto, not through your fasting. Did the Bible say that? Yes. He said, I will remember you in the day of trouble. What will he use to remember you? Your seed and your offering. Is that true, friends? Yes, God did say that. In the day of your battle, yes. When they come to kill you, uh -huh. you will say like, no, 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 they can't kill this woman. This woman helped the church. This woman helped the ministry. This man helped, no, you cannot kill this one. You, no, 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 no. If you want to read the story of Dorcas, hmm? Let the fire fall upon your seed. I tell you, going forward, I cannot accept seed any and any more because of the revelation that I am getting now from the Lord. Seed is powerful when it's given out of a sincere heart and it's not given out of a uh, grudge or necessity. When you give your seed and you have an understanding that Jesus Christ. Tonight, I need a, a mighty move of God. Father, I use my seed to connect to the frequency of heaven. Do you know what you're telling God? I ask that you sit upon my seed, God, and you give me physical and spiritual deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ, since everything in your kingdom moves after the frequency of giving, did you know that everything in the in the in the kingdom of God moves from the frequency and realm of giving? Did you know that nothing can operate outside of that frequency? For God so loved the world that He gave. His only begotten Son. There is a given that needs to, hallelujah, need to continue. There's a continuance of giving. When you come to Jesus, He then gives you eternal life. He's still giving you now. Everything is given. Can somebody say, I will look at it differently now? Hallelujah. When now. Sister Valera, Sister Anna, hear what God says. He gave us His only begotten Son. That is a major sacrifice. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Then when He Amen. goes to the cross, if that was not enough, He took our death and gave us life. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. Everything is if you, if you think it's a joke, go and read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. It's given. Yeah. It's given. Amen. 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 Oh, God. My body is not feeling good. I feel sick. The Holy Ghost come, take the sickness, and give you health. It's given. Yeah. Amen. Oh, God, I'm not a witchcraft attack. The Holy Ghost come, take the witchcraft attack, and give you peace. It's given. Amen. Oh God, I am in your court today. They said some big commands on me. Oh God, I'm even at the point of death. Bam! God sent an anointed woman. Shaka, shaka. Get out of her! You speak of necromancy. God take the necromancy and give you back your peace. Shout hallelujah! 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 So you're in there with a five million dollar in your account and, and God's church under attack. And, and you're, you're sitting down. 
They can go on. All they know to do is beg. You just disinherit yourself from grace and mercy. Can I prophesy to you? You fool. In the name of Jesus. Can somebody say that behave like a fool? You don't behave like a fool. Did you read the story of a nay, 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 but an Abigail? You fool. Hallelujah. David says, we have been watching this man fear day and night. I could say I've been casting out your devils day and night. David says, I've been watching your fear day and night. So David was soon to be a king, but him going through his process. Hallelujah. How many of you know that this ministry is going through a process? Do you think we're going to stay this level forever? No. Hello. No. 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 In the name of Jesus. David sent his man to Nabal to say, Nabal, give us some food. Hear what Nabal said to the promised king in the making. Who, who is Jesse that I should give the son of who is Jesse's son? That when Abigail saw the madness, do you know that Nabal died from an heart attack? Bam! God just smiled that out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You would say, my God, maybe if he had given David the food and, and, and just let that one act of goodness be upon his head. Let God remember that on his behalf. He goes and disrespect the man of God and God just killed that. Hello, somebody. Praise God. God take given to God. Do you know God take given give, give very seriously? Okay. In the book of Acts, Ananias and Sapphire supposed to give God something and they go and they conspire to take back peace because it looked too big to give to God. You in trouble, Ananias. Ananias dropped dead. Her husband dropped dead. She dropped dead. And everybody dropped dead, 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 dead. And they just dragged them out and go bury them. Hallelujah. God paid giving very seriously. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So when you give now, I hope you look at it differently. When you give, you must say, God, you should see that I'm giving. I'm always under attack. My marriage is failing. My brain is failing. I have invested in medical doctors and medication. Father, I am giving the seed and I'm asking your undivided attention. I you draw biblical reference when Abraham gave you a pill on his altar and show him blessing is coming when Isaac gave you a pill. Rabbi, shut up. No, we give you appear, you take away the curse from the earth, you tell no way you're not gonna smite the earth again. Oh God, it's my time. I say you talk to God, you know. Am I talking to somebody? Hello, somebody. Line of Judah, you got to be better than this. Hallelujah. In the ear that is coming, when you give to God, you must, you must, you must be happy and you must shout and dance because you know that in no distant time, God is about to plug your life in the socket of resurrection power and resurrection glory. Am I communicating with the intelligent church of God? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you start to give, uh, uh, when God says it's time to give, you said, well, I acknowledge the application. Now it's time to plug in. What do I want God to do? You start to look into the realm of revelation. You connect your seed to the process. You connect your seed to what you want God to do. You start to pass decree and not to pass murmur. You start to intelligently pass decree. Father, I have been waiting for you to kill these 
every case, I plug my faith into this. My mind is renewed. My spirit is alert. Hi, hi, hi. Rabba Koshaka. I then meditate upon the biblical account of how you illustrated your loving kindness unto them that gave. I am practicing the same principle, and you promised that I will not receive a serpent for a fish. This is my wisdom in you, God, and it is sufficient. I ask you right now to liberate me through the seed as I give ungrudgingly with all reproach or false signing. I give to you this seed in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Shout, I hear you, prophet. In the name of the no more murmuring over your seed. Yes, God. I give 150 times, and God said, give 150 times more. God, some of you, it is your giving that is going to use to brush you out of poverty, to brush you out of sickness. No matter how critical the spiritual, hallelujah, attacks are, it is your giving. Oh, God, I genuinely bring this to you tonight. This is all I have, God. I lay it on the altar. No, Father, I have some enemies attacking me. I am not buying deliverance. Oh, God, because those men that give you altars and seed, they did not buy their deliverance. It was a spiritual transaction they conducted in the realm of the spirit. Who am I talking to? I am here with somebody. Some of you on the is about to burst out like a big kite in 2024. You have given, but you have multiplied in words and you have defeated the purpose now get down on your knee now right where you are now and say God in my private time I talk some things but now God as you're establishing me new and you're connecting me to the realm of power and I'm being acquainted with various realm I ask that you will acquit me of every sin God murmuring complaining over sin neglecting your church causing your Passage and your pastor to be worried and to be asking the same people for assistance all the time. My father, now flow through me with your resurrection power and your resurrection anointing. Hallelujah. Let there be an overflow of the abundance and any church I am given into that is killing my life. I withdraw my seed from the altar. Whether I give it five years ago, I give it ten years ago, I did it last month, this month, and it was not a true church. Oh, God Almighty, who am I talking to? Huh? I can call on somebody that is I did not give a seat to some people where a devil, they are devil. Oh, Koshakaba. That's why you can't get the breakthrough. You can't get the breakthrough. Rakabo Shaka. For they are devils. 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 Alibo Shandiai. But if we confess our fault one to another, we slip for step offenses and sin. And we ask to be forgiven. We ask to be restored. That we can be healed. I'm coming down now. Now, that's why some of your finance drying up. It's not the line of Judah. It's the other place, the other people, the other network. We are anointed for progress and success. This is the habitation of the Holy Ghost. No dead man bone is here. No skull is here. We don't eat flesh here. We don't drink blood here. So you must know what you're doing in your life. I hear you, Holy Ghost. I rest my case. Hallelujah. And coming down tonight. Wanna thank you for our guests from Brazil. Wanna thank you for his church and all the faith and the authority which he exercised as a godly man of God. We thank you for the church and for overturning demonic plans and put your angel on assignment to cleanse us, cleanse your church, cleanse our children grandchildren, and cleanse the atmosphere and take away all visible invasion in our bodies. 
bid the church bless you tonight. If you were blessed, shout hallelujah. 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 As we are as we are entering into the crossover, everyone must bring their crossover seed on this line tonight. When you're ready, you're gonna from from the day from the morning of the crossover, all you're gonna ask God for is divine intervention. Divine intervention. Whoever must die for me to live, let it be done. Amen. You must not, I don't want that seed until you cry on it. I want the eye water on it. Whoever needs to die for me to live. Whoever is investing all this trouble in my life, God, that all I have is unfortunate situation periodically. All the time, I'm under attack. 2024, I'm not going in with them on my back. So I'm asking for divine intervention. And so I only want to talk to those who are very serious in 2024, crossing off overnight. My Amen. spiritual father and I were already on fasting from, from Christmas Day. From Christmas Day, we're on fasting until now. Uh, I just break with a little oats just before I came online. I had some oats and stuff. Uh huh. Because the tactics of the enemy is that when you least expect, that's when you propitiate an attack when you're unaware. Do you understand? Bam! Sister Jock wrote. When you see a high level work of Satanists, where Satanists are trying to get souls, and you see it becoming more public, God is sending messages and messages after messages. If you don't take heed, then you will just become a prey. We bury you and meet you in heaven. God bless you. I thank you so much for those who partake in tonight's activity. You wish you are Mashiach, you grant you good success and make your light shine in this dark world. I cover our children. None of the children will run mad in this season. We have come to the end of tonight's broadcast. We are having another exclusive interview with a warlock that came out of their cult who used to go in campus and suck people blood. Hallelujah. I'm supposed to be getting the movie that I came in um, tomorrow or Tuesday next week um, because of the, the because it's in a filming period right now. Um, then I, I I'm not I'm not having a lot of access, so I'm gonna play a role as um, another prophet that comes to warn them about something, and so. I am also being trained how to act out that character. So thank God for that movie that we came in um, last year, The Naked Mothers. And so we're going to have this exclusive interview. You're going to hear from the archer's mouth or they went into school or they come into your house, project themselves in your house while you're sleeping, suck your blood, stop your heart, plant things in your brain, make you get up and feel like you're getting mad, make some people get up and as they step on the floor, they drop dead. You're going to hear from the archer's mouth. I want you to bring loved ones that you think need to hear these kind of testimonies so that we will be alert. God bless you. Until next time, enjoy your holidays. Shalom. Good night.